okay, we're going to try this again. I don't know what happened. I was just talking and uh, all of a sudden the internet went out. So I am back. If you were watching and wondered where I went, I don't know where I went, but I'm back. So let's just start this all over again. Um, all right, so this is our daily vlog. Um, like I was saying the first time, uh, we we don't really do a lot on YouTube, and a lot of people ask us to do more on YouTube. So uh, I decided to start a daily vlog, as you guys have probably seen the last, what, three days, something like that, two, three days. And uh, it's been good. We've had some feedback. People are liking it. Um, they like the information. Um, it actually, uh, the daily vlog is actually doing better than our last vlog where we went to see uh, all the lights at Fort Henry. So I don't know, maybe you guys like it better than the actual vlogs. I don't know. Let us know. Leave it in the comments. Um, yeah, so uh, every time I come on, I just say, if you have any questions, let us know and uh, we'll answer them. And uh, yeah, so the question I got yesterday, I only got one. And that was because I've worked and yesterday I talked about working at a flea market. Um, people asked, well, somebody asked, not people, one person probably, asked if I enjoy selling collectibles or everyday items. Now, that is a hard question to answer because I like both. And I like both for uh, different reasons. Um, collectibles are more fun. <clears throat> collectibles have like a history, they have meaning to them. Um, uh, and in the long run, I think you can get more money for them. You know, sell a... Mickey Mantle rookie card or uh, a Connor McDavid rookie card um, or art, you know, collectible art. Uh, that's always a lot of fun. You got to do the research behind it as well. Uh, you have to look into the items. Sometimes you'll get something you don't even know what it is and find that it's worth some money. Like uh, yesterday we were talking about marbles. If you can get a hand painted German marble, it could be worth up around a thousand dollars, maybe more. So I like the collectibles. Uh, you sit on the items longer, okay? You're going to put them on eBay. Uh, you probably won't be able to really put a lot of that kind of stuff on Amazon. Uh, Etsy you can, but again, I don't think a lot of people are looking for collectibles. Maybe they are, but not as much. eBay is kind of the hub for that stuff. And uh, you're going to sit on it a lot longer, but when it sells, you're going to make pretty good money. Um, collectibles are collectible, but that's why. <laughs> Now, when I first started eBay, that's what I would do. Collectibles, antiques, all that kind of stuff. Working at the flea market, there's a lot of that stuff going on. But, and that's what I always sold. And, uh, but then when I got onto Amazon, I started looking at my inventory that was on eBay, and I couldn't really put a lot of it on Amazon. So we had to start going out and buying things, thrifting things that we could put on Amazon. But Amazon sales are way higher than eBay sales for us. Well, if you look at the numbers, Jeff Bezos is doing Bezos, Bezos, Bezos. He's doing pretty good other than his divorce that's happening right now, I guess. Um, he's doing pretty good. Uh, I don't think eBay is pulling in the numbers that Amazon is pulling in. Originally, when eBay first came out, they might have been. But uh, nah, that was a 90s too, so I don't know. Amazon's got the uh, number one spot right now, I think. And so therefore, items go faster on Amazon. Uh, Amazon's more trusted. Amazon has commercials every two minutes on my TV. I don't really ever see an eBay commercial. Um, just better promoting, stuff like that. But things go faster on Amazon for us. And it seems like I was saying, the biggest platform right now is Amazon. So for probably most people. But they're not really collectibles. Unless you uh, are approved to sell collectibles, a lot of people aren't going on to Amazon looking for a 1960s whatever. You know what I mean? They're looking for something they can use today. Like, I need new dish towels. I need pots and pans. I need a Legostina pot. Uh, I need a hair dryer. Um, even food. I need food. Uh, you can buy all that on eBay too, but people just tend now to go to Amazon. So although I enjoy selling the collectibles on eBay, if I could make the same amount of money I make on Amazon selling the collectibles. Also, with the collectibles, there's a bigger upfront fee. You know, you can't go in and buy a Wayne Gretzky rookie card for like near nothing and then sell it for a couple thousand or whatever. 
uh, you're going to be paying that couple thousand. Collectibles, the person who has the collectible normally know what it's worth, and they're trying to get full pop out of it. So trying to get it where you can actually make some money on it, it's a little harder. I can go to the dollar store, and I can go thrifting, and I can find stuff to sell on Amazon. I spend $2.00. Our dollar store is like one dollar, two dollar, three dollars, and four dollars at a dollar store. I don't know, four dollars at the dollar store. But if I spend four dollars at the dollar store on an item, I can I flipped it as high as forty dollars. Like I was saying yesterday about these statues, we're selling them for around forty dollars on Amazon. So, you know, there's it's easier to to do, and uh, people are looking for things they can use every day. Collectors are great. Um, I remember working at the market and getting in a lot of about 40 to 50 Lionel trains, all mint condition in the boxes. They were selling for around $100, $150 each um, minimum. Some of them stations and stuff going up around three, four hundred dollars It was really awesome. That was on eBay. But I don't know. When you find the collectors, it's great, but if the collectors already have it, if you find a common thing that's a collectible, you're not going to sell it. Um, that's probably a lot of people have something that they think is worth a lot of money. It's sitting on eBay, and they're thinking, this is old. It's a collectible, but yeah, but it could be the you know introduction to the collection, things like that. Where Amazon, I'll sell you a dish towel I spent $2 for. I did buy some stuff today. I'll show you guys. Um, we'll do a quick little thrift haul. Uh, so yes, do I prefer collectibles or everyday items? I like them both. I'd prefer collectibles, but if for fun, I like collectibles. For money, I like everyday stuff. I guess that's how I would look at it. Let me know if you agree. <laughs> um, a lot of people selling clothes out there. Well, there you go. That's an everyday item and they sell every day. If you have a million dollar man action figure, how many of those do you think you could sell in a week? Probably not as many as your t-shirts and jeans and all that fun stuff. So that was the one question I got. Again, if you do have any questions and you want me to answer them for you, to the best of my knowledge, um, just put them below this video down here. Also, like the video somewhere over here. Uh, and subscribe to our channel. We always are welcoming new subscribers. So we've been doing this for about, what, two years now? And... Um, yeah, we're just here to help people out and have fun. So with that being said, no one's saying a word, so let's go to this little thrift haul. I bought a bunch of stuff, but I'm only going to show you guys a few items. Um, actually, here's something I bought the other day. In Around Us, we have lakes everywhere. This was $40. This is a prop for a boat. Brand new, never used. Um, these sell for around $140, $150 on eBay. So I'm going to put it on Kijiji. I'm going to put it on eBay. I don't think I can put it on Amazon. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. But it's not a good time of year to be selling boat parts. Not a lot of boats in our area are, are really uh, getting uh, out on the lakes at this time of year. I just read actually on Facebook, we're supposed to go down to minus 65 with uh, the wind chill coming up in the next couple of days. So we just got a load of oil delivered into our furnace. So hopefully we're going to stay warm and not freeze to death. It's going to be like Planet Hoth around here. But I'm inside. I'm self-employed. If it, if I look outside and it sucks, I just stay inside. Thrift, play video games. You know, all the stuff you do when you're self-employed. Don't tell Crystal I play video games during the day, though. Crystal, you can comment if you read that or if you heard that. If you are in the puzzle and board game business, like we are, you will know the name Raven's Burger. Raven's Burger are like really top end, high quality puzzles. But this is when you kind of pray to God that it's complete. We paid three ninety nine dollars at Value Village for today. And yes, we just hope it's complete. We will have to count all the pieces. Three, uh, 540 pieces. For ages 12 to 99, if you're 100 years old, sorry, I cannot sell you this item. It's for 99 years old only, so sorry about that. This puzzle sells for $48. I know I got this big light behind me. You guys can't see my phone. 
Oh, kind of maybe there. It says $48.84. We paid $3.99 for it, and then we pray it's complete. Um, I never really wanted to get into the board game business, but we find there's money in it, so we buy and sell anything we can make money on. So board games it is. $48 from four. Hey, you know, that's a pretty good uh, pretty good profit. People look at me weird when I buy stuff like My Little Pony. Are you a brony, man? No. No, I'm a thrifty. And you're going to make me money. Paid $3.99. Freaking lights like the sun in my face. I need some cool sunglasses. $3.99. It goes for $54.38 with a low count of 157000 One thing with Amazon, look at the count. Okay, um, the lower the count, the closer you are to zero, the better luck you are going to have selling it. We don't buy anything if it's in around the million count. Anything like a, above a million or even around a million, it's going to sit a long time. Unless it's on there for like $500 and you could sell it for like 50 bucks or something and really, really undercut, maybe it'll sell. That's a chance, but I normally don't buy anything a million or above. Gemstones, these are big crystals, gemstones, all that kind of mineral stuff. Really big. There's a lot of people really into this stuff. They travel the world looking for rocks. So a book on Amazon is so much easier for them to find than a rock in a cave somewhere. So they will buy your book. $35.49 with a 420,000 count. I paid $4.99 for a book at Value Village. The books of Value Village are the most expensive books that we buy. Oh, man, I got a whole bag here. I don't want to show you guys just board games. I took a chance on this. It didn't scan. I didn't look it up on eBay. I just decided to pop on it. This is Bond Girl, James Bond, 007 Perfume. It might be worth nothing. I paid $3.99, and I bought two of them. And you know what? If all else fails, Crystal can become a Bond girl and wear some Bond girl perfume. Let's take a look at Bond girl. Uh, I guess it's perfume. One time I thought I had perfume, but it wasn't even perfume. It was some kind of a powder spray. I don't know. So three of these sold for $61. One of them sold for $22. Uh, another one here, $22 without the box. Uh, yeah, no box. Here's another one, $30. So I took a chance on this, and this is what I'm telling you guys. Take a chance sometimes. You take a chance. Wow, okay, never mind. So that's the purple box. Okay, the purple box is like anywhere from 15 to 30 it looks like. Scroll down further, and the silver box sell for forty dollars each. So three ninety nine. So call it four. Four times two is eight. Eight at forty a piece. We're looking at eighty dollars, and that was just a complete guess. The top one uh, sold for forty five dollars plus twenty six dollars to ship this. What are they shit like? Are they delivering it to their house like? Is that gas money? Because there's no way. $26 for shipping this? Anyways, they got it. So, And that's 44 American. Don't forget, we're paying $4 Canadian. And 44, 45 American is like close to 60 Canadian. So $4 into 60. And then eBay, you know, hammers you with a whole bunch of fees and fun stuff. But still, good profit. Total gas, mint condition, brand new, sealed. Can't go wrong. I've sold the Katy Perry before. I've sold a bunch of different colognes and stuff like that. So this I don't think was worth a lot. It's just another book. Let's grab it on the top of the bag. Oh, now it doesn't scan. Okay, one thing with Amazon. Scan the barcode. Oh, now it does scan. Look at that. This is $31 with a 900,000 count. So it doesn't have the greatest count, but it's in good condition. And for like the $3 I paid for it to turn it into 31 why not? This will all be going in my next FBA. This is another item I did not scan. You guys need. You guys should know this from watching us by now. Whenever you see a Walkman, pick it up. 
Sony Walkman. It's cool blue. Again, untested. I just opened it out of the bag. But one thing with Walkmans, and this is a good example. You guys can't see it, but the spring in here where the battery connects to is a little corroded. That's from leaving batteries in it. It's a little corroded. So what you're going to do, you're going to take a knife, and this, and you're just going to scrape that contact. You're just going to scrape it. Scrape it on the end where the, uh, the battery would connect to. That's what you want to do. Um, back when I used to fix fork trucks, we used to spray corrosion with a mix of water and baking soda. And the batteries would bubble up, but it would actually clean it up really good. But you don't want to go dumping any kind of liquid into this. So you're just going to scrape it. Another thing that works really well, uh, if you can get it in there, would be sandpaper. Take some sandpaper and rub it in there. Clean that contact up, and once the contact's cleaned up, throw your batteries in, you should be good to go. Another thing to go on these is there's a belt in there. Um, I have put an elastic band to replace a belt before, and it has worked. It's initially the same thing. Um, but anyways, you know, uh, Sony Walkman, if we get like 30 bucks for it. On Etsy, you might be able to get like 40, 50 bucks for it. Etsy, you always make more money. Um, I'm going to show you guys something. I didn't look it up. I have no idea what it goes for. I'm going to put this as a local sale. This is actually kind of funny. I paid off for seven bucks. Dear Antler Toilet Paper Holder. Oh, Crystal would be so proud if I put this up. If she came home, went to the bathroom, and found this hanging in our bathroom, she'd be so happy. She would be just so happy. Look at this. Brand new. Thank God I wouldn't want to be touching if it wasn't. Um, toilet paper antler. This is not great. This is like the great outdoors. You know what I mean? This is uh, something you would find in a log cabin or a cottage or a hunter's house. A single man or woman's hunter's house. <laughs> Thought that was cool. Didn't scan it. Don't know what it's worth. But locally, I'm probably going to ask 30 bucks for it. It is brand new. It is unique. Um, Oh, cool. There's uh, even all the pieces to hang it to the wall. I think with something like that, you could just duct tape it to the wall. Why not? Give it the ambiance, right? I don't know. What else did I get, guys? Uh, I got a mug. I don't know what mug I, I bought. Okay, this is a Tim Hortons mug. See, it's like Christmas every day. You open up these bags. And... So $3.99 is what I paid for this. All winter long, these were selling for $12.99. It says Tim Hortons on the inside. On the bottom, Tim Hortons. Uh, but the most important thing is limited edition. By being a limited edition, they're not making it anymore. People have a few of these and they want to complete their collections. Tim Hortons is uh, like the Starbucks kind. Well, we have Starbucks in Canada too, but Tim Hortons is, uh, is very Canadian, as you guys know. So people do collect Tim Hortons stuff. Go on eBay and type in Tim Hortons. And uh, you'll probably see the hockey cards because he was a hockey player. But... Uh, you also find Tim Hortons. We had family down in the summer, and uh, they went to Tim Hortons every day. They love the uh, Tim Hortons coffee. Anyways, back to the mug. This is a limited edition. It's got Canada geese on it, blah, 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 blah. I'll have to look it up, see what it goes for. Uh, I had a green one with a beaver on it, and I think we had $30 on it. So if this is about the same, you're looking at 30 bucks. Again, it's not a ton of money, but... Uh, it could be a local sale, which means there's no fees. Always, if you can sell it locally first, sell it locally because there's no fees. That's what you want. You don't want fees. Your audience is not as big, but, you know, no fees, shipping. I didn't receive it. There's a problem. It broke. Locally, here it is. Take it. Give me the money. Bye-bye. One thing I've been finding lately, here's a little secret for all of our fans on YouTube. This is French. A lot of people on Canada Amazon are in Quebec and they're French. Um, yes, uh, also French is Canada's second language. So there's a lot of French people on Amazon and they're buying everything uh, in English because there's not a lot of French stuff on there. 
so lately I've been looking in the French book section, the, uh, looking for French writing, like French language stuff. And when I find it, uh, this goes for $27 with a 600,000 count. And it was in the book section. So I paid about $3.99 for this. Hey, find your market, find a niche market, find a market that not a lot of people are selling in. Okay. And uh, try to take advantage of it. And that's kind of what I'm doing with the French stuff right now. And we have sold a few items. Crystal picked up one very close to that the other day and it was in the same section it probably got donated at the same time but it just got put out at different times uh that's i got a few more bags guys but i'm not going to bore you too much this is another one i took a gamble on didn't scan it it's in a bag i hate when you get these bags full of stuff it's like there's a little calculator will go in the garbage here's some card envelopes i don't really care about i'll use them to mail like hockey cards if i sell hockey cards and stuff like that but this is a blue jays pen now who cares about a blue jays pen all right unless you're a fan i agree the thing with this is it's new old stock this tag is from simpsons sorry the sun is blasting it it's from a store called Simpsons, which isn't around anymore. It hasn't been around in a while. So for it to be at Simpsons for 69 cents, this could be uh, probably late 1980s, mid 1980s, back in the George Bell days for any of you Blue Jays fans. So it makes it more um, valuable. People are looking for collectibles. We just talked about collectibles. There's a collectible. Uh, I could put it in auction and let them battle it out. You know, I paid... I think it, yeah, it was a dollar ninety nine for that. So if I put it on for five ninety nine in a seven or ten day auction, if it goes for you know ten bucks, hey, still ahead of the game. Yeah, I got a few more things here, guys, but uh, I don't want to bore you too much. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I did buy one really cool thing, but I guess I didn't bring it down. It's actually uh, watches, but they're like kind of like Fitbit watches, but they're more designer-ish. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll show them to you in one of our next vlogs. Seiko cases. We do good with cases. And this one still has the original Seiko pillow. It says Seiko on it right there. I personally own two Seiko watches. Love them. This is a higher-end kind of watch. Um, you can sell it on its own. I paid $1.99. Or you can wait till you thrift and find a Seiko watch. That reminds me, I have a Citizen Eco Drive with diamonds in it, and it's out in the car for a week now. I totally forgot about that. So, if Crystal, you're listening to this on the way home. It's in the glove box if you want to grab it. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you get a Seiko watch, you can just hold off uh, selling this and then put your Seiko watch in the case. Now you sell it as a complete set. For $1.99, no brainer. We have just sold Pandora cases. We sold two of them for $89.99 each, and we thrifted them for around $2.99 a piece. So that was really good. One was a Facebook sale. Somebody wrote us and said, Are you willing to ship it? Well, yeah. And I always reassure them. I always say, Yes, um, we are resellers. We do sell every day on eBay. We do ship every day. Uh, send me the money. And I, as, as soon as I get the money, I'll mail it by the end of the day. And I will send you the tracking number. And as soon as you say that, they're totally comfortable with you mailing stuff on Facebook. This is another one. Maybe I'll end with this, guys. Tarot cards. Tarot cards. Tarot cards. My friend, who I, I did computer work for her, started up a channel on YouTube. And she reads people's fortunes with tarot cards. And she has only been doing it a couple months. She's already at a thousand subscribers. I bang my head. Oh, anyway, tarot cards. <laughs> Good job. Her name's Lynn. She's awesome. She hasn't read my fortune yet. I don't want to know my fortune. There is no fortune. Three ninety nine. If it's complete, again, they're cards. I have to count them. I have to make sure they're not ripped up. They look really good, but stuff like this sell people love this stuff this is kind of the everyday stuff it's it's borderline collectible and everyday stuff but people buy this stuff all the time i think i've bought three of these in the last couple months 
Uh, this one scans in at only $20, which I mean, from $3.99, you're making some money, not enough to really, I don't know, not enough to really go ahead and send it to FBA as far as I'm concerned. But this is something I will try to sell online locally for, I'll put $40 on it and I'll try to get 30 out of it. And that's local, so there's no fees. So again, we're saving more money with the no fees. So, so with that being said, guys, that is everything I'll show you for now. Uh, let me know what you think of these vlogs. Again, comment, join in, jump in, ask a question. Tell me what you bought. Tell me what uh, you thrift. Do you enjoy the everyday stuff? Do you enjoy the collectible stuff? What's the coolest collectible thing you've ever got? I've seen a watch. I held a watch that was given to like an Egyptian president or primate, whatever it is, but back in like, the, the mid 18 or early 1800s when a railway was being built and it came with all these COA sheets and all this collect, it was just crazy. It went for thousands of dollars. That's kind of the coolest thing I've probably ever had. I didn't even want to touch it. You know, the guy says, here, put this on eBay. And I, I'm just like, I'll just take pictures of it right here, you know, and then I don't have to move it anywhere and just put a piece of paper under it and take it. And now you just touch it. I don't want anything to do with this. So. So that was that. You don't want to touch anything too expensive because if you break it, you buy it. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, no, no thanks. I'm not buying that. Too much. So I hope you enjoyed the show, guys. Um, again, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Ask a question. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Leela, I made very good with Warhammer board game. Yes, Warhammer is awesome. I love Warhammer. Dungeons and Dragons stuff's really good. I went to a flea market one time, and they had a stack of 20 Dungeons and Dragons and Warhammer books. And I said to the lady, how much? And she goes, $10. And I thought, okay, $10 each, and there's 20. That's 200 I said, okay. In my head, I'm going, I'll pay 200 for all this. That's cool. And then uh, I was like, well, I have to go to the bank. And she goes, well, I see $10 in your wallet right there. And I said, oh, 10 for everything. She goes, yeah. Oh, my God. We were selling them for $50 to $80 a book. I think there was one even worth like 120 and we just sold them and sold them and sold them. It was so awesome. Um, Warhammer, that's like a, a hobby and a collectible thing. Um, but it's also kind of an everyday thing because people would use that every day. Um, especially the role playing game books. There's little claims of people out there who are playing that and using those every day. So, that kind of falls into a multiple category, but in the end, it's probably a hobby thing. And if you go to your local hobby store, go go check out your local hobby store. It is not cheap at all, okay? Um, so to buy something like that, uh, that book new is probably worth, or the uh, the board game new with Warhammer, you're probably looking at 50 to 80 bucks, probably in around there. It's kind of like, uh, I don't see it. Oh, yes. Oh, wrong side. Catan. Catan New is like, uh, depending on the uh, the board game, you're looking at anywhere from fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars for the board game. So if you can find them secondhand, it's a good one. But yes, good job with the Warhammer. That's great. Uh, I have a bunch of Ral Partha, which are these little pewter die cast figures. I don't know. We may have showed them to you in the past. I normally have a bunch of them kicking around my desk. But uh, we've been selling them in lots lately, so maybe I am all out. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, any kind of collectible like that, really, really good. Got me addicted to HQ. Yes, HQ, nice. I tried to win the truck. <laughs> we tried to win the truck. You know what makes me mad about HQ? Um, they were having a SpongeBob night. Everyone knows I love SpongeBob. And uh, I was like, I'm going to kill it on SpongeBob. I was out. Like six questions in, I was out. Um, the other day, they, they had one. Well, they had one for The Office a while back. I'm a huge Office fan. I got my Jim and Pam over there. Um, huge Office fan. And again, made it to question like eight. I was out. And it's uh, you, Seinfeld. They did a Seinfeld one. I love Seinfeld. I know every episode. Again, they asked something that was just so obscure. Neil Patrick Harrison, I, 
Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, actually. I don't, you look happy about it, Leslie, but in all honesty, I don't know anything about him. I saw, you know, Doogie Hauser when I was a kid. Um, I never watched How I Met Your Mother. Um, what was the other thing? Um, Harold and Kumar. He was in that. That was funny. That was like a stupid movie, but it was really funny. The 3 p.m. game is starting now. Oh, okay, well, go play it, Leslie. Good luck. I hope you win. Um, yeah, the sports ones are always so hard, too. We just go in and guess on those. But I didn't win the truck. I guess you didn't win the truck. Maybe next year. Maybe uh, this Christmas they'll do it again. Maybe we'll both win a truck. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, again, comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You can always get in contact with us through Instagram and just by leaving a comment underneath this video. So have a good day. Uh, this will probably be it for the day. I think Crystal's not home till later, so we probably won't be online later. If you do want us to go online later, again, leave us a message. It gives us encouragement to go live. Um, sometimes we need a kick in the butt, you know what I mean? We get busy with other things and we just need a reminder and a kick in the butt. So give us a kick in the butt and we will talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by.